Hello friends, this is Neha Tulshan from Crescent Creation. Welcome to my third video of Valentine's card series 2016. I got a little late in posting this video as I was little busy making some party favors for a kid's birthday. You can see the details of those party favors on my Facebook page. I'll add the link down in the description box. So here I have started with a white cardstock and die cut it from a lawn fawn stretch rectangle die. I am using distress ink to ink my background. I'm using Pit Raspberry and the Madden Coral Distress Inks. I'm sticking with the traditional colors of Valentine's Day and trying to create a lovely scene with hearts falling all, all over. On my Ranger's Craft Mat with my mini blending tool, I'm going over in circular motions. I'm using very light hand to avoid harsh lines. Now, I'm going over the abandoned coral area to get a better blend and will continue till I am satisfied. After I am done blending both colors, I will bring in my misty, mini misty and spray some water on the background. I will let the water sit for 30 seconds and then wipe off the excess with the tissue paper. Now you can let it air dry or bring in your heat tool. After the panel is dried, I will use some perfect pearls pigment powder in pearl color. I am taking out some powder on my craft mat mixing it with water and then with the help of the brush I will tap the brush over my background to get little drops of perfect pearls all over my panel. To create my scene I am using two stamp sets from my favorite things. I am using heart with dotted lines from all heart stamp set and small hearts from so much love stamp set. Now I will randomly stamp the hearts with abandoned coral distress ink all over the panel. For my main image, I am using the bird stamp from the same stamp all heart stamp set. I am stamping it with the memento tuxedo black ink as I am going to color the image using Copic colors. I am using my misty tool here on a scrap piece of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock to get a nice dark image. Now, with the help of Copic Liner, I am extending the branches in the image. I am doing this so that my image covers maximum area on my background. Now, I am coloring my image with the Copic markers. Started with the red, red shade. I am using R24 and R39 for my first bird. For my second bird, I am using RV02, RV06 and RV09. I'm doing a very simple coloring here. I started with my lightest color, brought in the shadows with my darkest color and then blending it with my medium color. I did not put much effort in coloring the branches and the leaves as they are really small area. I used E33 and E39 for my branch and G05 and G17 for my leaves. Once I'm done coloring, I'll fuzzy cut my image. Now I will take the falling heart stamp and I will stamp it with the abandoned coral ink in such a way that the heart is it's hanging from the tree branch. I'll stick the image on the panel using my multimedia matte glue from Rangers. Now I have die cut a frame from a white cardstock using my lawn fawn stitch rectangle dies and also cut a transparency sheet out of the same die to create my front of my shaker card. Now I'll stick them together but before sticking I have to heat emboss my sentiment on the transparency sheet. Now I'm arranging my background with the frame to get the better, better placement of my sentiment. For heat embossing I'll stamp my sentiment with Versamark clear ink and then sprinkle some white embossing powder over the stamped image. I will use a flat brush to brush off the excess powder near my sentiment. Now I will bring in my heat tool and emboss my sentiment. Now I will stick my transparent sheet to my frame. To create the bell for my shaker card, I will use foam tape. I will cut the foam tape in half and stick it all around the back of the frame. Here. I am sticking my background to a side folded card. I am sticking the background in such a way that when I stick the white frame, the background is exactly in the middle 
of my card. For my shaker element, I am using seed bead from my stash and red hearts from Simon Says Stamps February card kit. I am not using a lot of shaker elements here as I want my background to show more and also the shaker elements to move freely. Now I will bring my frame and remove the backing of the foam tape from its back to stick it to my card. My shaker card is ready. Thank you for visiting. See you next time.